I, I don't think Trump's wrong because of what China and North Korea are doing. But at the same time, Kim Jong-un is insane. I really think the Korean Peninsula crisis is the number one issue, not just of this year or last year, but of the last several decades. We haven't had a nuclear showdown this dangerous since the Cuban Missile Crisis with the Russians in the early 1960s. But let's be clear. We positioned medium-range missiles first in Turkey. I was a big enemy of the Soviet Union, not defending what they did. But the United States provocateur the Cuban Missile Crisis. This is different. Kim Jong-un has been firing missiles into the South China Sea. He has been testing nuclear weapons. He's been promising to have basically uh, unprovoked attacks. And now two more aircraft carriers are being deployed, and China is extremely belligerent and has grabbed, again, over 90% of the South China Sea, right up to the coastlines of countries like the Philippines and others. So established known coastlines and oil rigs off the coast of Vietnam in the last six, seven years. They've had uh, dozens of skirmishes and battles where hundreds of people have been killed, sometimes per battle. Uh, as China grabs uh, oil fields from the Philippines, from Vietnam, I mean, China is out of control. Just like Germany was running around grabbing some of its neighbor's property uh, around the start of World War II, so I understand why Trump wants to be strong in the face of this. And he's listening to his generals. But I also agree, this is scary. I also see the Russians' perspective that, yeah, North Korea is out of control. They've told North Korea you should back down. China's told North Korea back down. But at the same time, we should open this up for debate about what Trump's doing. I, I, I don't think Trump's wrong because of what China and North Korea are doing. But at the same time, Kim Jong-un is insane. So I sure hope, and that's the word, that Trump has a deal with the Chinese, which they've signaled they do have. They just haven't confirmed it. They have signaled to take out North Korea themselves if they try to fire stuff at the United States. I understand if they're threatening an attack, threatening nuclear tests, threatening to fire more missiles at Japan, Trump has said he's going to shoot down those missiles, and North Korea says they're going to attack. Well, I mean, Japan just can't be expected to sit there while missiles crash a mile off their coast every week. So they did blink last week on Wednesday, the 15th, or, or, or on, on Saturday, the 15th, but not on, not on Sunday. They went ahead and did uh, test a missile that blew up on that day. So those articles are all up on InfoWars.com. We'll be talking more about that coming up. Let's go to Devin in Florida. Devin in Florida, you're on the air. Great. Hey, thank you so much. Listen, I have bought your products and I gotta say they're amazing. Thank Anyone you. who's on the fence, buy it because I've I've got Caveman, Superman Vitality, Secret 12, Vitamin Mineral Fusion. I've got the body armor. Wow, thank you. Wow. You're the type of listener that makes it all possible. Which nutraceutical so, does you like best? I really like the the Vitamin Mineral Fusion to be honest. That's it's amazing. Really incredible. I drank it in the morning and I swear to you, I felt incredible. Like I haven't felt weak. My morning was fantastic. And I and I love you guys. I love the info wars crew. And I just wanna yeah, I wanna I wanna take this opportunity to tell anybody out there who's on the fence. Just buy it, you will love it. I'm telling you, I've never bought a bad product. What you find in our news is the same thing you find in our products at InfoWarsLife.com. It's a win-win, InfoWarsLife.com. <laughs>